Technology is helping us develop practical, forward-looking solutions. For winning this war on climate change, because I really call it a war, we need to have standard setters, we need to have regulators, we need to have legislators, we need to have public policy, and then we need to have investors and companies. The transition is not going to be a walk in the park. There are going to be very, very difficult trade-offs and difficult strategic decisions that we need to take collectively as a society, but also as businesses and also as governments on the way towards a more sustainable future. To define sustainable innovation, it's useful to think of what is an innovation and what is sustainability. An innovation is the application of a new idea to create value. Sustainability involves creating value for people and the planet. So a sustainable innovation is one where new ideas are applied to create value for people and the planet. Sustainable innovation is about innovating our products, our services, or our business models in a way that integrates environmental and social issues and ultimately allows us to function within planetary boundaries. The single biggest challenge uh, in sustainable innovation will be in meeting the legitimate aspirations of billions of people around the world in a manner that the planet and society can bear and allows the planet and society to flourish. So we need to have an infrastructure with data and with standards, which is similar with what we have for financial disclosure. I'm going to share an example that is exciting at a very personal level because it's a research project I'm involved in. And this is around greening the world and specifically planting trees in places where deforestation has been happening. What's exciting about this is that this behavior change that we're involved in uh, with an organization called Dharma Life in India run by an alum, this change is powered by entrepreneurs, women entrepreneurs with smartphones, with AI powering it, with blockchain powering it. So you have this confluence of technology and the power of human entrepreneurship and uh, uh, ingenuity being applied to a rather fundamental problem, which is greening. Vertical farming in agriculture its the idea that we can move away of some of the water-intensive and carbon-intensive traditional agricultural policies, bring fresh food closer to urban centers while reducing our water consumption. It's, it's estimated to be a huge market. By some estimates, by 2030, the vertical farming is estimated to be $27 billion or so uh, of a market. We are educators and we have incredible human capital passing by our school in our very different programs uh, from different parts of the world, the different age groups and so on. So I think our main mission is to raise the awareness of the complexity of this uh, journey to net zero. Let's call it a journey to net zero. I am always hopeful for the future. There's been big changes happening. We can and I believe that we will accelerate them. Leadership and putting effort is about being optimistic in the face of even the gloomiest data, even the gloomiest reports. Right? That's where leadership shines. That's where managers can shine. In my experience in the last few years here at London Business School, there has been a great demand from the student body to get more material on climate change and sustainability in general. So this is an index uh, that, uh, that business people or the future business people of the world uh, are very much aware that uh, without sustainable business there is no sustainable world. Sustainable innovation does not take place in a vacuum. It requires leadership, it requires organizations, structures and processes. It's really hard to imagine any domain of our daily lives that is not going to be affected by sustainable innovation.